I am James and today I'm working on this which is the Acer Swift One SF114-34 laptop we recently reviewed on this channel. Um, if you want to know more about this machine do watch that review. Uh, and to start off with I am going to go around and remove the screws from the base of the laptop. This is using a Phillips size O screwdriver bit and all these screws in the base I believe are the same size but what I do is just as I remove them put them off to the side here in the same positions that I have taken them out from. So this should just take a minute to go through and remove everything. Now with the 11 screws removed from the base we are going to take a plastic pry tool here and the best way to get into this chassis is to take the pry tool and begin pressing in quite firmly along this back edge. So we have got pressed down and then in and we are going to work our way along this back edge just to release it from the palm rest. So having done that, we are now along to the corners on each side and we are then going to come around the corner and press in and we should mostly pop the panel. And again the same on the other side. With that done we can then lift and remove the panel. Inside we will see there are very few upgrade options on this machine and not a great deal in terms of repairing either. So we have the battery itself and our first step is we are just going to peel this little cover out of the way and then gently press out the pull out the battery connector because before we want to work on the machine we want to absolutely ensure that everything is disconnected and electrically off. If we want to then replace this battery we have two screws holding the battery in place with those undone we then have a little bit of tape here, so peeling that up gently and with that done we can then lift the battery from the edges and forward to lift it out. To refit the battery it's then simply a case of reversing that, so making sure the little plastic clips on the leading edge are slotted in and replacing the two screws. There is no replaceable memory on this, uh, all the memory is underneath this heat spreader and is soldered to the main board, uh, but what we can upgrade is the solid state drive. So this is held in with a single screw here. You can see there is actually space for a second SSD, um, but Acer have chosen to omit the connector from this, at least on this variant of the machine. So with the screw removed, we can then slide out the SSD. And if we wanted to fit our one terabyte Crucial P2 here, we just slot that into place. and then refit the retaining screw. Obviously, if replacing the SSD, you are going to want to either clone the contents of the old drive to it or clean install windows onto it accordingly. You can, if required, also replace the wireless adapter. This comes with a Intel AX200, so you probably wouldn't want to upgrade this right now as that is still a fairly good card. Uh, but if you did need to replace it for any reason, 
the two antenna cables simply disconnect like so and then a single screw holds in the wireless card with that removed we can then just slide out the wireless card and then to reinsert it slot in and press back into place before replacing the screw. With that down we then have to gently reconnect our two wireless antennas. These need careful alignment and then simply clip down into place. In terms of repair, the DC jack is part of the mainboard and so would not be replaceable without soldering. However, the USB port and uh, headphone jack on this side can be replaced. Um, to do this, we can lift this little plastic cover by peeling this out the way. I'm just going to stick that to the battery for the moment and then carefully lifting this connector here we can disconnect the ribbon cable next we slot out the speaker connector and with that done we have two screws holding this little IO board in place and we can slot under there to remove that. You can then, if that USB port gets damaged, simply replace this board. Again, if the one on this side gets damaged, you really are going to be a bit out of luck uh, as that is part of the main board. So this can then be slotted in back over that connector. The two screws replaced. before reconnecting the cables closing this connector and reinstalling that tape so with all of this done we can then reconnect our battery by peeling back the tape and reinserting the connector for refitting these And with that, we are ready to replace the base. Refitting the base, we then want to press down along the front edge first before working our way along the sides and the back. And with all the clips re-engaged, it's then simply a case of replacing the screws. So, as you might expect with a relatively low cost, highly integrated laptop, there is not a huge amount of upgrade options on this machine. Um, this model coming with only four gigs of RAM, it would have been particularly nice to have seen a, a SODIMM slot in there to take this up to eight gigabytes, but unfortunately that is not the case. The option to upgrade the SSD, however, is at least one bonus as the 128 gigs this came with as standard is quite small.
so I hope you found this video interesting. Um, do hit like if it has helped you. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos as we post them. And any questions, please do ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.